There's a new clock on the market that has the experts baffled. Just for fun, any idea about how that one works? I think this will be very difficult to do. <laughs> it's got you foxed, has it? I would think so. <laughs> for quite some time too. The object is, you can see nine clock faces on each side, mm -hmm. and you can turn the arms of the clocks. And the task is uh, to get 12 all on, on all of them. So and each hand is going to be pointing yes, 12 on both sides? On both sides. And you can turn the arms, they are gears, and you can change how it's moving with the buttons. Mm -hmm. When you are pushing the buttons, they change which one is moving together. Are there some people who just cannot do these puzzles? Please, give me some uh, hope. Uh, <laughs> you worry me, I can't actually do any of who this. Who can't sing, there are people who can't play piano or something like me. And, uh, <clears throat> but there are many people, more, much more than what I expected. The kids can do it. Uh, very Why? Mu much more easily than the adults. Why? They have a very good eyes, they have very good memories, they can learn much more easily than we adults. They have a first sight for everything and uh, they, they discover it. Young Toby Watson, record-breaking Rubicologist, now has a new challenge. How quickly have you been able to work this one out? Oh, well, I can't complete it yet. I can get halfway and then get in a bit of a bother and have to start again. And how long did it take you to get all the hands on one side pointing to 12? Uh, at first it took me about three hours, now I can do it in about 10, 20 minutes. Do you use computers when you design these? Or no, is it no. I, I, generally I can say I'm not using computers. Uh, I, I believe the power of human mind. exercise our bodies too much and our minds not enough well that's why he invented things like the Rubik's clock I don't know about that though I'm getting enough exercise here onwards <laughs> oh. oh this is where you are gentlemen now look you look after this town hall clock so well professor Rubik thought you might be uh, good at having a go at this how about it <laughs> okay <laughs> have a go <laughs> why not um. Are you good at this sort of thing? Um, well, I play, uh, with, play with the kids' puzzles occasionally, but I'm not very good at them, I'm afraid. Well, come on, you look after one of the biggest clocks around. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If there's any indication, my Ruby Cube's in Darling Harbour. <laughs> <laughs> at the bottom of Darling Harbour. <laughs> why you, why, why is your Ruby Cube at the bottom of Darling Harbour? Uh, because my sons wouldn't give me the secret of how to work it out. <laughs> Excepting for using super glue and sticking the labels on them. You had to the colours off mine and stuck them around the other way, and I got it out. No problem at all. Yeah. Well, Ethan, uh, I'd better let we you do this after we do the big clock. <laughs> yeah, do the big clock. <laughs> all right. <Keep> mine. <laughs> all right, we'll keep going. Yeah, we'll be here all day doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, I have a suspicion we'll get this one done before that one. <laughs> 